Welcome back gardeners, Lindsay here with Mindful Living Movement. Today we're going to talk about zucchinis and in specifically how to prune them and also how to climb them. I know they're not a climbing plant, but they're in the same family as squash and cucumbers, which are a very, very powerful vining plant. And you might notice when you grow zucchinis that they kind of fall over and start to kind of crawl across the ground. So instead of letting them do that, I'm gonna show you how to kind of stand them up and train them to grow up. This serves to give you a little bit more space in the garden. It also helps to keep the leaves way far away from the soil because powdery mildew and downy mildew are a very real thing with zucchini. And so the more we can lift them up and avoid that splash, you know, from the moisture coming up maybe while you're watering, that kind of thing will just help them out immensely. And also how to keep the plants focused on their fruiting and their flowering instead of just pumping out a whole bunch of leaves. So I've just given them a very serious pruning and they're also looking a little weird because I just staked them upwards. So I'll let you see what that looks like. And you might think it looks a little bit odd, but later in the season when they've kind of corrected themselves and they're growing up really, really tall, you will see the method to my madness. So as you can see, this guy is currently looks like he's growing sideways. It was because he was laying down on the dirt, crawling across the dirt as they normally would do if they didn't have any support. So I've gone and I've propped him against, this is just a broom handle, you can use anything you have. This was the easiest one for me. And I've trimmed away all of the bottom. So some of the leaves were kind of getting a little bit sad. This is normal, they kind of, they're not their healthiest at the very bottom, but I've trimmed off even a whole bunch more up to where it's fruiting and it's flowering. So pretty much you can just keep pruning right up to that. The plant doesn't need that. And this will help keep it directing its energy into the fruit and the flowers and not so much leaf growth. As you can see, I've left lots of leaves on it. Like I definitely haven't sheared it clean off, but I did take quite a bit off still. And then I'm just using a piece of garden wire to help hold it onto the stick here. And it's going to eventually, I would expect probably pretty quick once it figures out that it does not need to grow sideways, the leaves are gonna come around and start to grow up probably within a week, maybe even two before it really fixes itself. So here's another look at one. And you can see a lot of the bottom ones have even shriveled up and then there's those fresh ones right there that I've just trimmed off and I've gone and just threaded a wire through and stood it up and this guy's even more crooked because he was climbing a little further across the ground. <laughs> so here's a look at the other ones. Now some of these, I had tried to start to tie them up earlier in their growth, but they weren't quite big enough. Some of them kind of held, but other ones didn't. I didn't really have enough height to hook them onto. So you can see these ones don't look quite so wonky as far as their sideways-ness goes, but I have done the exact same thing. There's lots that's been trimmed off, and right up to you can see right where the flowers are starting to happen. There's the females, there's a the male one starting there. So pretty much anything underneath you can just keep getting rid of. Same thing here. There's a female and a male. Oh, nope, I lied. Two males. Lots of males on this one. So here's another one, just for one last look at it. So you can see everything along the bottom I have gone and removed up till where it is flowering. This one doesn't have any female flowers, it's all just male flowers. And I've left a decent amount of leaves on the top. So that's what it looks like. And as it keeps growing, it's just gonna keep getting taller and taller. I'm gonna remove lower leaves, I'm gonna keep tying it up this, and so I'm gonna end up with fairly tall zucchinis and the zucchinis themselves they'll just kind of hang down and dangle as the plant grows giving me lots of easy access as well I don't have to be digging through zucchini bushes so that's it super simple and easy you just need something sturdy to stand up and stake it against a little bit of garden wire to tie it around and then from there right up to where it's fruiting and flowering, as you could see, just start to remove anything below it. This will help out with the overall production instead of putting energy into a bunch of leaves that it doesn't really need, it can put it into the fruit and the flowers. What you do tend to notice is if you don't clean off all those bottom ones, they're gonna start to get kind of sad. Those are the ones that get sick. They start to get a little bit yellow, maybe a little bit brown. They do eventually die off completely. And when you leave those on the plant, it's just going to sort of 
bring in thickness to the rest of the plant because that's sort of where the powdery mildew and the downy mildew tend to start. So if we can just eliminate that completely, it's gonna get us much farther into the season before we have to actually worry about potentially treating the plants in any way um, because sometimes that does happen. And usually once I hit about mid to late summer, I do eventually start to have that. But I find that by cleaning up the plants really, really well for the whole start of the season, it does prolong that. And I get a good solid harvest before the plants start to sort of present that. And then from there, you know, it's, it's usually fairly easy to treat or at least keep, keep at bay. But that's another video. So if you have any questions on how you can train your zucchinis to grow up, similar to maybe your cucumbers and your squash. If you're already exploring that, you most definitely can. Have a beautiful rest of the day, gardeners, and we will see you again soon.